This video is to explain the accounting equation. The accounting equation is assets equals to liabilities plus equity. The assets, think about um, the, everything you have in a company. Uh, you have cash, right? That's the money. You have your inventory, the things that you're selling. Uh, you have uh, some uh, prepaid. Prepaid are um, prepayments that you made maybe for rent. For example, you pay rent for the next uh, 24 months, um, you know, first. But you get to stay there for 24 months, right? So it's an asset. It's not an expense yet until you really use it. You also have receivables. What's receivables? Uh, receivables are the right to receive money, receive payments from someone else. Accounts receivable is when you make credit sales to customers. So that's when you sell products or services to customers and you tell them, hey, I give you the product or service now, pay me later. So when that happens, you have revenue, uh, but since you didn't get cash yet, what you have is accounts receivable. When they pay you, then you have cash and you reduce your accounts receivable because they no longer owe you money. Okay, so um, remember all the prepaid and the receivables are always assets. You can also have uh, some other assets like long-term assets such as uh, property, equipment like buildings, cars, computers, um, you know, e uh, equipment, machines. Um, those are long-term assets that you can use them for more than one year. All right. You can also have uh, some investments. Um, maybe your company purchased other companies' uh, stocks, uh, so they can, you know, stocks or bonds. Those are investments. So those are assets. Liabilities are what you owe. Um, those are if you take a loan from the bank, uh, or you have a mortgage. Um, or you simply borrowed from your family, friends, those are your liabilities. And you will see the words called payables. So payables are always liabilities. And there is one very common one, it's called accounts payable. Accounts payable is, you know, it's the opposite of accounts receivable, is when you go uh, and you buy products. Right, and you, when you buy products or when you buy service or you have a bill that you're going to pay later. For example, you um, spend um, electricity, you spend power, you have water bills. Uh, you don't you use now, right? And, but you don't get billed until um, you know, later. And when you get billed, you have 30 days to pay. So when you got the bill, you have that expense, but if you haven't made the payment yet, you have accounts payable. So that's the payables. Remember, all the payables are liabilities. Equities are what the owners truly own. So equities have two, we can break down equities more in detail, but uh, we can first break them out in two parts. Number one is um, what the owner, owners donated money into the business. When the owners donated money into the business, that's called contributed capital. Contributed capital. Um, you can tell by the name contributed, right? So contributed capitals include things uh, such as common stock, um, you know, preferred stock, um, so those are owners' contributions into the business. And you can also, the second part of equity is um, retained earnings. So, so that's what you, your companies retain, the wealth your company retains from doing its business. So if you sell products or if you sell services and, and you make money or you lose money, that's in the retained earnings. So retained earnings has revenues, has expenses, and has dividends. Dividends are when you pay back your owners, 
when you give money back to the owners. So um, equity section has a lot of, it's complicated, you can spread, spread it out into two parts, contributed capital and retained earnings. Contributed capital is what is free money you got from the owners. Retained earnings is what your company, um, the wealth the company retains year after year from doing its business. Okay, so uh, hopefully this helped you answer some of the questions about the accounting equation.